Hey, hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Aaron again with American Interviews. Today, I'm out here again at the Arcata Marsh to check in on the homeless population that was back here. Uh, I heard that yesterday there was a large police force that came through and cleared out a bunch of the people back there, and I did see a big dump truck with a, a large dumpster behind it, and they cleaned out a bunch of trash back there. With the recent Supreme Court ruling on Grant's Pass versus Johnson, police forces across the nation have been cracking down on the homeless populations sleeping outside in undesignated areas. The Arcata Marsh is not unlike any of these places, and we've already been here twice, so I figured I would come out here to check out what's happening back there to see if there's been uh, progress in um, how clean it's gotten and to see if our friend Yellow Chris is still back there, and uh, we're just gonna see what's going on back there. So right now, right now we're just on our way over to the um, encampments here. So this will be my first look at the encampments since they did all that work yesterday. It'll be interesting to see. Um, I wonder if anyone has come back here still. One of the uh, security guards here um, told me that there was some people coming in and out late last night, so we're gonna find out. A lot of stuff looks like it was kind of cleared out in their staging stuff to be taken away, it looks like. I don't know if this is the same pathway, but we're gonna find out. Oh, wow. Look how clear this is. That's amazing. I mean, I do realize that there's like these piles of trash, but I will flash before and after photos and you will probably be amazed. This is great. Oh man, look at this. This is wonderful. 
if you remember, this is where Jeremiah's tent was. Let's do like a before and after. Wow, that's a big difference. That same bike. The same Dora the Explorer bike. This is uh, look, the Bible's still here. This is really good. Let's go further down and then we'll see if the Yellow Chris's camp is still there. Staying up to date with events around the world can be difficult where it's impossible to consult one single source for the full story. Narratives that shape public opinion often just reinforce media and corporate backed vested interests. Information is released faster than it can be verified and reporting often favors clickbait content over high quality journalism. It's hard to know what information to trust. That's why I've been using Ground News. Ground News is an app and website that combines news from around the world in one place so you can compare the coverage. For every news source, you can see if they have a political bias, how reliable the reporting is, and who owns them. They even have a blind spot feed that highlights news that is being disproportionately covered by one side of the political spectrum or the other. Get news from thousands of sources worldwide in one place. See who is funding each publication, compare coverage, and think critically about the information you consume. Verify your information and know where your news is coming from. Personally, I've been using Ground News for their bias tool. I love to compare and contrast headlines and see what kind of diction they're using from one side to the other. And usually you can find a pretty implicit bias in just the, the words that they're using. I also use the bias tool to help me formulate video ideas and approach the public in a more neutral way. So head on over to check.ground.news slash American interviews or subscribe through the link in the description to get 15% off any subscription. I personally use the Vantage plan to get unlimited access to every feature. Your subscription not only helps American interviews grow, but it also supports ground news as they make the media landscape more transparent. Now let's get back to some interviews. Party's over. Looks like. See, this is the type of thing that Grant's Pass versus Johnson was tr focusing on. How's it going? Yellow Chris around? Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to see. Hey, yo. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I've, uh, I told him I would come check up on him, and then yesterday I heard that a bunch of police came out here and 
clear the place out and it looks way different over there so see it but i heard they came with dump trucks like yep i saw the dump truck i arrested the girl that lived down in the front yeah yeah that's what i heard i mean i don't really know offhand but uh, first time i mean that's what i heard yep chris yeah what's going on it's aaron from American Interviews, you remember me? I'm gonna walk back, all right? Hey, you know, this is good. Let's go. What's going on, Chris? Nothing. How you doing? Doing good. What's going on? I was just coming to check on you. I, I I saw that there was a bunch of police last night in the dump trucks and yeah, we're just cleaning up. Yeah. No yeah, man. For sure. Um, can you tell me what happened last night? Do you, were you here? No. You weren't. No. Oh, you're talking about nighttime. Did not just, not just the daytime yesterday. Yeah, daytime too. Didn't the cops come out in the daytime yesterday? Yeah, but it bothered me. They didn't. No, they put me with that. Line. Crystal. So Crystal, you gotta talk to Crystal up front. She was probably give you a heads up. I'm just cleaning up right now. Do you know why they came out? Yeah, cause uh, there's that new law with the camps and shit. Well, uh, Gr Shut up, Rosie. Grant's pass first, Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that new. Shut up. <laughs> that way, they deem them just if they deem you a health hazard, they can wipe you out without warning. Well, the Supreme Court ruled that it was um un not unconstitutional for punishing people for sleeping in undesignated areas. And what's his name? Uh, I can't think of it. The California's governor dude said, said go ahead. Get, yeah. Gavin, Gavin Newsom. Yeah, yeah, Gavin yeah. Newsom. That's it. Yeah, well, Gavin, he, Gavin there's, Gavin. I mean, it's out of his, it's out of his hands because the Supreme Court ruled I get on that. it. Yeah. I get that. What I mean is, like, after the Supreme Court ruling, Newsom said, anybody that said, you know, anybody that uh, I control, go ahead. And then, and, you know, said, go ahead and wipe out anyone you, you call a health hazard. Do you know, uh, do you have friends that were arrested yesterday or? Yeah, Crystal. Yeah, Crystal was one of them. Do you know what's happening with them? Are they just- Well, she refused, she refused to clean up and she refused to remove, move herself. And she, she, she threatened the officer. So basically, okay. that's what ended up happening. Do you mind if I look for a seat post that fits my mic? Yeah, I got to, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I don't know where it is. What's been happening otherwise, Chris? You've been doing all right? Yeah, I'm just cleaning up. I'm just getting this all this wrapped up. It looks way cleaner over there. Have you been helping out over there? Yeah, I've been doing as much as I can. Yeah, cool, man. I'm just doing it right now, cleaning up my back, and just getting all the garbage and all the shit already. Yeah. Getting it ready to put, put in the next fucking, the bloat. All this shit is fucking just chaotic. Yeah. But yeah, I've been getting it fucking getting it done. Are you, are they going to come uh, evict you too? Or are they going to? Have you cleaned up your camp? No, I'm just and... cleaning up my camp. Fucking, they didn't say nothing about fucking taking me out. They just said basically clean it up and get it, get it away from the waterway, the waterway and uh, basically my property's gonna be moved up front and it's gonna be on this property on the front on front blast. So basically that's what they're just changing off of the, with the camp's uh, deed and property line. So they don't want you to be in the tree line? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was, because it's a hazardous for the waterway, possibly contamination, right, right. metals and stuff like that. Yeah. So I've been getting all the metals and put it up to front, getting it ready, getting it to take out. It's pretty much all there it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't been getting, getting I haven't got no notice of any arrest or any of the such a threats or any of that. Well, that's good. Take it all, I'm taking this all down. It's slowly showing. Are you going to move it up? Are you going to just basically transfer this whole thing up to the front? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. It's a little, 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 little fucking tiresome, but. Was, is that uh like um a request from the city or basically telling you that if you don't do that then you'll be then i'll kicked be out. kicked out yeah yeah that's what you guys because i have my proposal for my fucking my leaf power program so like that's still going well yeah it's still going still it's in the works yeah so i just gotta get all i gotta get up materials now next and the freaking see how that works out with the maintaining the management of it all yeah so yeah so i was getting all this stuff all this stuff, all these other camps and get cleaned up uh, as all the other camps are done fucking it's all ready to go and get, get dumped off. I just, it's, been, it's, it's really tiresome because it's a lot of work. You know, you get a lot of camps that you like just decide to band up and pick up abandoned and this shit. Fuck it. So I cleaned up everything I possibly could from every metal, from every camp, from every fucking possible fucking shit I could possibly do. It's a nice horror. 
Do you want to show me some of the stuff you've cleaned up back here so we could get a before and after? Uh, show how well you've been doing? Oh well, yeah, I can give you a little quick. Yeah, one. let's do that. Let's do it right now. All that cleaned up is all gone. Yeah, this is way, way better. It's all cleaned up. Good here. job, Chris. That's all cleaned up here. Are, are there um, employees from the city or private organizations coming out to help clean up too? They are, but they're just trying to clean up whatever I don't clean up, whatever I, I don't get to. So it's, I'm just finishing up the metals here, going and getting all this stuff, taking this shit down. So um, they've been like, um, they've been taking like the bags and stuff that you, yeah. you, you get? This is basically what it looks like now. Boy, yeah, that's way better. Good job, Chris. Yeah. That's awesome. Just finishing up the last of it. Just trying to get the rest of it maintained. The original was cleaned up from here up to this part. Yeah, I was I was astounded with the difference over on that side. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a big it's, difference. It's a lot. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot of see people accumulate about thirty pounds of good debris about every day. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds of debris every day count three hundred sixty five days a year for twelve months. You know, it goes like you accumulate about about. 200 ton, 200 football. So, about a hundred tons of uh, pounds of fucking garbage on a fucking yearly basis. So, a hundred tons that, that goes for one fucking. Wow, oh, I can't even do my math right now. I'm so tired. Uh, okay, we get to one family's house. There you go. Right. One family's house is fucking one person just in a year, just the top. So, this is a, a fucking the aftermath of what that is. I'm just trying to get that all wrapped up and shit, trying, trying to get that back to normal. My whole point is to restore the fucking marsh, it's fucking not nothing to destroy the marsh. Right. And so it's like, but it's also meticulous because you got to be really um, on it. And it's like, I'm, I'm just a one man show, you know what I'm saying? This is all, this is all, I'm doing it by myself. So people that help me, they help me out when they can. And like, it's like, <laughs> like I said, it's a one man show I'm doing right now. So it's like, I'm doing yeah. this all by myself. And yeah. It's like, it gets sick, it's tired, so I run out of energy, morale, fucking food. But sometimes it's like, I just can't do it sometimes. Like, I do it off slack. I'll, I'll, I'll get lazy. Like, like right now, I'm getting a little tired right now. Well, it's good to rest, too. You need you need rest to be able to do this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, I do. And I'm not on drugs and shit, so it's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I don't get drunk and do it. I don't get high and do it. Just, just get it done. All this stuff I gotta clean up. Keep on cleaning, keep on cleaning up for, for freaking animals too. They don't help me any. They reopen the bags and shit. Yeah. That's annoying. So yeah, that's not really what it is. This is about the after the aftermath. It's the last of the aftermath of all that shit. So it actually works, possibly. Well, I commend you with your progress, and uh, I think you're doing a really good thing out here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate thanks for that. taking the time to do a little short interview with me. And yeah, no problem, man. I'll come check back up on you. Can yeah, I? Yeah, he's not joking. He really did all this this himself. <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Take it easy. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. No problem, man. I really just need a Have a good day, day, man. Sure, yes, you too, bro. All right, so there you have it. Huge difference, huge difference back there. There's just like immense progress happening back here. And um, I think we should acknowledge that uh, Chris, even though he's down on his luck and, you know, probably doesn't have the most glittering past, he's doing what he can to restore the marsh. And he just, you saw, I'll show you the before and afters. You saw how well he's doing back there. I mean, comparatively, it's just kind of cool to see that the marshland's getting cleaned up, protect the water, protect our wildlife, you know? It's important stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys.